And right where we left off last time. So let's see. Let's meet with Robert. I'm looking for Robert. You come through here? Half hour ago. He went back to the wharf. He's there now. Can I offer you a rubber banded stack of food stamps? <laughs> <laughs> this is a very polite guy. Everybody in here is probably real, real friendly and cordial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a service-based post-apocalypse. A, a lot of Firefly stuff everywhere. Oh, well. Look for the light. Mm -hmm. Here we go. But it's daytime. Let us through. You guys need to turn around and head back if you know what's good for you. Our beef isn't with But the you. doorman let us in. Robert. You don't want to do this. Turn the fuck around and leave now. I'm not going anywhere without Robert. Bitch, I will bash your skull unless you turn around and get your dumb ass out of here. Fuck this. I like Take Tess. Robert. Good heavens, Tess. You ready? So, I'll she's you gonna tell angle. us right here to get an angle on them. Um, remember how I have one bullet? I still have one bullet. That hasn't changed. No oh boy. Two so dudes, one bullet. How are you gonna get out of this one? Uh, well, first things first, she said get an angle on them. Tess will kill them if you let her shoot at them a lot. Let me see if I can get a bead on all these guys. Best thing to do is to peekaboo out, kind of get close, and duck back down. Let me see. Hey, what? What are you doing over here? You're supposed to be getting an angle on them. This doesn't help. I'm really, really sure that's that's not how flanking uh, works, Tess. Okay, got him. Beautiful shot. Uh, oh, he staggered. Fist. Oh, and the old bum rush. Well done. Nicely done, Texas. You too. So. How the hell did you get all these guys. If Robert's good at one thing, it's writing blank checks. So that's sometimes what you have to do. Just sometimes you just have to rush in there and melee folks. And that guy had some bullets. Oh, thank goodness. That's four times as many bullets as you went mm -hmm. into this encounter with. Mm -hmm. We are rolling in rounds. Uh, another alley-oop. Give me her hand. She is strong. Yeah, she was also kind of looking off to the left. I'm not sure what was going on there. It's just like, oh, Joel, I can't look directly at your magnificent beard. It is pretty impressive. So grizzled. Oh. Oh, mercy. Oh, my, I'm getting the vapors. I'm just kind of, on occasion, I'll look at some of the signs to see if there's something new. Because there are some signs that will eat little Easter egg thingos. More Robert's guys. So I guess one thing that really cost? annoys me about cover-based gameplay mm -hmm. is, uh, is, is just that this is obviously a fight Jesus. arena. Uh -huh. You shouldn't have taken this job. Well, if you screw call. up, it will be. Spread out and make sure no one's creeping oh, around this is a stealth segment. Uh-huh. She's just skating right by that guy. Yep. And she had a knife. Unfortunately, we don't have a, a kniff on hand. So we're just going to have to hug this dude in the throat. Hugs! Feel the love. Let me love you. Sleep. No tears, only dreams. Yes. Now, did this guy drop ammo? No. Maybe Tess took it. Maybe. Greedy. She's uh, obviously not a team player. Also, when you use listen mode, the uh, if you hear people talking, their voices get very distorted and such. It's like you're focusing past them. It's a nice little touch. Yep. They lined them up against the wall and bang, bang, bang. They just executed all of them. Holy shit. Yeah, here, take that over the city. 
They're cracking down on him hard. Yeah. I got a cousin with him. Seriously? Yeah. The idiot thinks he's gonna save the world. Hope he's all right. Tell us more about the political differences in your family. Tell me more about your backstory, mystery mook number two. <laughs> Thanks for I, sharing I, so much, Unconscious Man. I know it said strangle, but for a second, I saw that as snuggle. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's what we're calling it from now on, I yep. guess. Let's search the area. Press the snuggle button. Warehouse key. That's an artifact. So it doesn't actually open anything? It opens a legendary door. Ooh. Now, there's nothing nothing here loot-wise that I know of. I just kind of wanted to scoot around. Oh, wait. Candy bar. Sure, just hop oh, that down. Nope, nope. Ah. And because we... Oh. Probably a can of peaches. It's just a giant can of peaches. Uh-huh. So, just from time to time, I just like peeking around at things around us, because we do kind of progress through some large areas rather quickly at times. Well, they went to the trouble of, you know, doing textures for the whiteboard yeah. and stuff. Mm -hmm. oh. Wanted. Dudes. Okay. Now we're going to get a little something different in here. It's a bottle. <laughs> Tess just ran past me and just like, come here. Yep. I'm gonna grab your face. Now. Got several dudes out there. Now, I goofed up one attempt, so you saw a little edit there. Now, you see that little green reticule how it locked onto him? Yep. That is something that I'll show in just a little bit after I snuggle this guy to sleep. Um, snuggle time. If you tap R1 when you have that green reticule on somebody and you're carrying a throwable item, that's basically just a smart lock on. So if, so they're, com so if they're coming around a if they're coming up and you're around a corner, you can get that and peek around, tap R1 and beat them in the face. Huh. Sweet. But the thing is, if you take out a dude outside of, uh, you know, a regular strangle like that, then uh, typically everybody will get alerted. It's not like if you run up to a dude and you beat the shit out of him with a 2 by 4 nobody's going to hear it. It's going to make some noise. Which is pretty logical. Yeah. So, there are a bunch of dudes in here. There's one on the ground floor, there's one up here, and there's another pair on the catwalk on this level. So, I'm gonna take this guy right here. Come here, sailor. <laughs> we going for a walk. I just wanted to talk to you over here behind this CNC machine. So the, uh, when you have them in this sort of grip right here as a human shield, they will break free if you hold them too long. And they're also pretty slow to drag along, but it's good to get them more or less out of sight. Unless you want to do a little bit of a trap on some enemies. You know, just leave a little body lying around. A little something, oh. to, a little something to tease them with. It, it's always a fun thing to do. I, I remember the infamous uh, corpse pile in uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution. Mm -hmm. It's a nice thing to liven up parties. It's an accent piece. <laughs> Now those two are still up there. <laughs> now this guy's body, that's a little further out than I was hoping for it to be, but should be okay. Now, those two guys are going to stand there jabbering for a bit. They're going to break apart. I think they already have. Let me see. There's one. There's the other. Yep. Okay, this guy, let's wait on him to come this way. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, so stealth. I love the sort of shuffle, sort of posture he has. Her Creeping. Creeping. Yeah, Joel's creeping pretty hardcore, man. 
Okay. It's ready to pounce. So we have the barrier here. Ooh, that was close. That guy might have almost seen us. Uh-oh. That dude is heading downstairs, I think. This guy. Snuggle! So, remember that body that was a little too far out? You got screwed by it, didn't you? Not screwed, but that was actually pretty convenient. It did work out. Because that guy, I think he would have probably seen me here. But, let me see here. Got a bottle. Let's try this out. There he is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Have a drink. Oh, <laughs> also, melee combat on stairs doesn't work. I can't grab him. Triangle's doing nothing. That's that's a pretty rough hitbox. Yeah. Oh well. So you what? just kicked him through the stairs. Yep. Ouch. We should have brought more people. So one good thing is uh, you'll know when combat sections are over because usually. Tess will, you know, your pers person who's with you will start talking or they'll stop sneaking. If you see they're still sneaking or they haven't really said much, chances are there might be someone. Also, this right here, that's a shiv. It sure is. Mm-hmm. Now, strangling takes time. If you really want to kill someone super fast, use a shiv. Thing is, at least right now, they are expendable with just one single use. And you, you do not want to use them that way. Also, this is crafting. More on this later. But we know how to craft a shiv, and Joel comes with scissors and binding. So we just went ahead and crafted a second shiv. It, the game, really the game handy. unlocks those formulas at certain points. I think that was where it unlocked it, because you saw a little wrench icon in the bottom right, and that meant you were able to craft something. Oh, cool. So how uh, how scarce are the resources for crafting? Um, at first they are pretty scarce. On normal, I was kind of flush most of the time. I haven't played through one hard before, but higher difficulties mean less resources. There's our boy. There he is, ponytail. Ugh, a ponytail and a Baja sweater. You aren't supposed to like Robert, so it seems we're off on the right foot. Perfect. Okay, this part. There are a lot of dudes here. Let's be smart about this. So basically, as you saw them talking about right there, things are not looking too good even for smugglers. The city is more or less pick dry, and there's not much around them. Oh, that box is popping in and out. Yeah, there's there's plenty of uh, quantum boxes though. I mean, yeah, the textures have been the, te the textures and objects have been pretty jittery this playthrough. I didn't have any issues when I first went through this. Oh, bonus shiv. All right. Excellent. So, yeah, things are not looking good even for the bandits. They said they're, you know, going outside the zone, outside the quarantine zone is pretty bad. Surrounding areas, there's not much around people-wise or uh, loot-wise. Well, I guess that makes sense. If there's, you know, no new production. Yeah. And you're just scavenging then. Yeah, and you also remember there was the um, uh, the ration lines that they were talking about being out of food and stuff. So, you know, shit is bad in the uh, post-apocalyptic times, but this place in particular is taking a nosedive, it seems. Who would have thought that a scrounging-based economy wasn't sustainable? Mm-hmm. <laughs> scrounging, scrounging, and also, yes, um, you saw a fade there and a fade here. 
if I'm ever at a part where I'm waiting on a patrol and it takes too long, I'm just going to cut it out. And in those cases, I'm going to stay planted in the same spot. So if you ever see those like that, that's just because I took out maybe 10 plus seconds of just staring. See, this this is why you are you're the right guy for the game because you're considerate. Uh, nobody wants to see me stare at a barrel, even if the barrels are pretty. Also, this guy. Whoa! whoa, whoa. Oops. I don't think so, Tiger. Oh my! He almost broke free. Someone no. was getting a little frisky, so you had to just. Someone down. needs a nap. Oh. The times I've played through this, I uh, I did not manage to stealth this part, but I actually managed to do it here. Things there's just a whole bunch of guys. Now, his buddy that passed by that we were waiting on, he's going to come around here after, you know, after walking around for a while. He's going to walk around on this left side. There he is. Nobody else patrols on this side, so we can just uh, put him to sleep right where he's standing. Look, buddy. But he comes with a prize. Ooh, a fancy 2 by 4 Yep. So this is a uh, melee weapon. See those four notches? That means we get four good cracks with this sucker before it breaks. Oh, so they are pretty short-lived. Yeah, um, they're a lot. Well, they're a lot more common later on. The game just bit by bit introducing them. How is that stuck to his backpack? That's amazing. Well, I don't know. Post-apocalyptic ingenuity? Maybe a little duct tape? <laughs> I just taped a stick to my backpack. Mm-hmm. I am the Mad Max of the end of the world. Well, he is quite mad. Okay. He's really more furious than anything. So, there's no other dudes out that way. Over this way, there's a dude. Uh-oh. What are you doing with that bottle? Are you going to litter? <sighs> I was thinking about it. But... Mm -hmm. Nah, he's grabbable. Look, man. Now, th this is about where I noticed something. Joel is choking the guy out. If you're on the last guy, Joel will just knock the piss out of them without care of making a noise. But he choked him. Tess kind of said something, but... She's still crouching, and the music didn't do a crescendo or anything, so that means there's somebody still around. Where is he? That's kind of a neat little touch. Where is he? Now I'm kind of like, oh, is somebody going to sneak up on me? Uh, wait a minute. Oh, hello. Oh. Hello, shadowy figure. Hey there, stranger. Hey, what sailor. You, you know, you know what every good sailor likes? Likes a drink. <laughs> Well, I got just the thing for you, buddy. But uh, actually, hold that thought. Hold the thought on that port call. Actually, quite quite literally a port, because he's going to throw a little bit of wine glass in his face. Or wine <laughs> bottle. So there, there are two collectibles here. Ah. Let's just crab walk over this way. Ha, ra, ra, ra. There it is. And a little backstory on Robert and stuff. So essentially, he's pissing everybody off. Nah, leave it to Robert to piss everyone off. Yeah, thank you, Joel. <laughs> much, <laughs> much like what he did with Joel and Tess, he kind of does that thing and burns a lot of bridges. But there's one other note over here. It kind of touches on a flip side to that. As, co as you know, a fellow dressed and looking the way he is, he's kind of a weasel. Hmm. According to this. Bison. According to that, he talked them out of some problems they had, but the dude who wrote the letter was sort of suspicious as to how their shipment got spotted by bandits. But, whatever. Anyhow, port call. <laughs> uh, Fenced. So it might have just been, uh, just been my brain playing tricks on me, but it kind of looked like he was flipping you the bird as he fell over. Probably was. just want to talk, Robert. We got fucking nothing to talk about. Put your gun down. Go fuck yourself. Okay, put the gun down. There are more bullets in the world, man. You flippin' Scooby-Doo villain. 
What's even wrong with you? Arr. It's a chase scene. How does this control? Because the, the chase scenes in Sleeping Dogs were very similar. Um, mm -hmm. Well, he doesn't parkour and such like um, uh, like our protagonist in that one did. But it's not, it's not like Gears of War where it feels like you're steering a barge. Yeah, that that was the issue I ran into with Sleeping Dogs because they uh, they tow you a lot. Yeah. But it's not like you run to situations like that very often. Also, Ooh, you capped. We missed you. I like her. Mm hmm. Look, whatever it is you heard, it ain't true, okay? I, I just want to say. The guns. You want to tell us where the guns are? Yeah, sure, but it, it's complicated. All right. hmm. Look, all right, just hear me out on this. So he doesn't have our guns. Fuck. Tisk. Stop, stop, stop! Look at the detail in this guy's face. That's what, what I really like. Him. Yeah, that's, uh... It looks surprisingly authentic. Yeah. Excuse like, you can see him tearing up because he got smacked in the nose. That's amazing. I say you bet on the wrong horse. I just need more time. Just, uh, give me a week. You know, I might have done that if you hadn't tried to fucking kill me. Come on, it won't Who like has that. our guns? Something else I really like about reading between the lines in this game. Just give me a couple. Of the two of them right here, they're kind of just torturing him, and neither one flinches really. It's sort of like something they've done before. <laughs> yeah. It's the fireflies. I owe the fireflies. What? Seems the Serenity has our guns. We can just just go in there, finish them off. my favorite gun. Guns? What do you say? Come on. This is my very most Fuck favorite those gun. Fireflies. <laughs> Let's go get them. That is a stupid idea. Uh, damn. <laughs> Joel's kind of like, eh. Well, now what? We go get our merchandise back. How? I don't know. We explain it to them. Look, let's, let's go find a firefly. We won't have to look very far. Well, that was a long side quest. Yo. Queen Firefly. Remember her from the poster? Why are you here? Yes! Business. You aren't looking so hot. Where's Robert? <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> I needed him alive. The guns he gave you? They weren't his to sell. I want them back. Doesn't work like that, Tess. The hell it doesn't. I paid for those guns. You want them back? You're gonna have to earn them. How many cards are we talking about? <sighs> I don't give a damn about ration cards. I need something smuggled out of the city. You do that, I'll give you your guns back. It's a Canadian some. bison. Hmm. Smuggle out the Canadian no bison without them. eating it. I'd also like to snuggle a Canadian bison, because they're pretty cute. Are they? Oh, oh they are. Right we talked about before or after the curing process. Uh, a little of both, man. It's a pretty adorable cut of meat. I gotta move. Oh. What's it gonna be? I wanna see those guns. Follow me. <laughs> gotta go get the guns. We gotta get out of here. Now. Get those goons. Oop, I had to pause the game. We gotta move. Mm hmm Here. And the combine are kind of circling on where we are right now. <laughs> They're looking for litter. Pick that up. <laughs> I don't want to get tased, mister. She's taking the form of an invisible wall blocking me from continuing. <laughs> and, and right here, I was kind of like Tess going up the ladder. No? Whoop. Okay. She's just messing with you now. Mm-hmm. No respect. Apparently, icing Robert wasn't enough. She had well, to also are, annoy Joel. Well, he is walking silently, and he is carrying a big stick. Holy That's a shit. way worse looking explosion than the What's prologue. Why do you think I'm turning to you guys? Yeah, but I think the prologue had a benefit of it being much darker and further away. Also, probably a lot more heavily scripted. So why now? We've been quiet. 
Been planning on leaving the city, but they need a scapegoat. They've been trying to rile us up. Looks like they did. We're trying to defend ourselves. From the government. Government. The government. Stealing our stuff. Speaking of stealing stuff. Junk. Ooh, yes, please. Junk, junk. Delicious. Ah, uh, precious scrap. Mm-hmm. Joel, give me a hand with this. Alright, fine. I mean, you're the protagonist, so you gotta feel like you're doing something. Yeah, she isn't looking too good. She's a protagoner. Uh, I think so. All that running and jumping probably isn't helping either. Yeah, she's pretty spry now, though. Uh-oh. Hold up. Soldiers. That's the way out. The door under the bridge. I ain't a big fan of these odds. We can sneak by them, even though I know that's not your style. Well, but that's sneaking. exactly your style. Exactly. Sneaking's been yeah. very my style. I broke one bottle. Okay, two bottles. I broke two bottles over guys' heads and shot one in the face. Not a big deal. Get to that door. Uh, so that door, we have the uh, little divide here between us, so we have to head over to the other side, down some stairs, and then we can head in through the door. Oh, I sure. She's that. bleeding out and wants to take you on the scenic route. Yep, I'm sure, I sure hope there aren't any mooks up here. Whoop. Oh, Oops. speak of the dick holes. Hey, it's our old friend. It's the brick. Hi, brick. Brick is back. It's been too long, my friend. It's been 20 years. I know. The years of, he looks great. I know. He's rock solid. Mm-hmm. He's got the holes of a of a twenty year old brick. <laughs> I like Brick, he's trustworthy, he's got some stones. <laughs> Cobble together a small army of bricks. Cobble, huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh gee up. Just oh, let it lie, don't point it out. <clears throat> So, we can't head back outside, but there are other dudes. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, sneaking right. test! Sneaking! <laughs> She's now. amazing! She took the ninja running perk from Fallout. Now, need to be a little careful with this part. I know at least one... Actually, I think it's just one case coming up here. But our buddies do help knock out other people. Let's get this guy a little further back. Uh, that guy took a while to choke, it seemed. Oof. Okay. You, you didn't quite have a proper... Ooh, biohazard, huh? Mm -hmm. That's ominous. A gunshot about something. There's a dude off to the right. I'm, I'm not clear what he was shooting. Because when I was playing this, I heard the gunshot, and I was like, did I get spotted? I thought for a second it might have been, like, Tess taking someone out. Yeah, and there's that dude. I was like, oh. So let me see here. That third guy is going to head up and down the stairs, I think. Yeah. Okay. Won't buy you anything to kill me. It won't? <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Yeah. All right, listen. You don't need to do this. I gotta do this. I gotta. It's necessary. Mm -hmm. I now get I paid can use, the I can use the brick on the next guy. Hey, what the? Hey. What are you doing over there? Hey, guys. Got guys. Oh. oh, my mistake. I thought they choked somebody out when I was when I was going through this. I thought they grabbed one of the other guys or something. Now this guy, he's just gonna walk along the edge here, and he's gonna be the last one. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you out to, pal? Huh? Huh? Taking a stroll along the parapet, are we? <laughs> Now, if you're, yeah, if you're at the last dude and there's nobody left to alert, Joel will do that. He'll just say, screw it, knock the dude out. 
Okay. His lower back was starting to hurt from all the crouching. <laughs> Getting too old for this shit. You're like, screw this. So, I thought there was a an additional talky part up here if you stealthed everybody. But I, uh, I, I think I made a bad note or something. I thought there was like some flavor text or conversation you could trigger if you stealth all the dudes, but nope. Oh. And that's why I waited down here for uh, Tess to come along. Because there's some conversations that are hard to trigger. Okay. All right. Also, there's a small thing here. If you alerted dudes out there you had a gunfight, then when you blocked this off, you would hear people pounding on the door. Where are we going? <laughs> that's kind of a cool touch. But since we stealth, we're okay. This way. It's not far now. How are you holding up? I'm running on fumes. But I'll make it. She's a trooper. Mm-hmm. She's just a shot in the right gut. Right. You can walk it off. Attention. Curfew is now in full effect. Curfew. Anyone caught outside without... Aww. It's not even 9 p.m. And it's not a school night. They're gonna take away your allowance, too. Lame. They already are taking away the rations. I guess that is kind of an allowance. <laughs> No dinners. Oh. <sighs> Tonight was rat night, man. But I wanted armadillo on a stick. <laughs> oh, I just thought about the armadillo theater again that blew up. Oh. Oh. Rest in peace, little theater. Gotta help her with all these doors. Ooh. Come on now. You don't have to. Fuck away from me! Going into that cutscene was just too call. exhausting. You're recruiting kind of young, aren't you? She's not one of mine. Oh, shit. What happened? Don't worry, this is fixable. I got his help. But I can't come with you. Well, then I'm staying. Ellie, we won't get another shot at this. Hey, we're smuggling her? There's a crew of fireflies that'll meet you at the Capitol building. That's not exactly close. You're capable. You hand her off, come back, the weapons are yours. Double what Robert sold me. Speaking of which, where are they? Back in our camp. <laughs> We're not smuggling shit until I see them. You'll follow me. You can verify the weapons. I can get patched up. But she's not crossing to that part of town. I want Joel to watch over her. Whoa, whoa I don't Bullshit, think that's the I'm best Ellie. Him? How do you know them? I was close with his brother, Tommy. Said if I was ever in a jam, I could rely on him. Was that before or after he left your little militia group? He left you too. He was a good man. I could just take her to the North Tunnel and wait for me there. Jesus Christ. It's just cargo, Joel. My yeah. name's Solomon Grumpy. <laughs> Fine. Solomon Grumpy and a and an indie teen. Now go with him. Solomon Grumpy wants some pants. Don't. Do <laughs> and you? Solomon Grumpy misses shorts. Let's go. <laughs> and lean. And there was uh, one thing I missed in the uh, previous episode. When we were walking by outside of, uh, you know, right where we started and we were walking along after that whole initial conversation and stuff, there was some writing on the wall that said, Seek the Fire, and it's supposed to be a reference to uh, the road, where at one point the father tells his son that he has to carry the fire, which is, you know, the whole carry on the hope for mankind sort of thing. You just Which can't is... get away from Dark Souls, can you? Oh, I wasn't <laughs> thinking about it. Lame. Also, I never played Jack and Daxter, but Tess. Apparently there was a character named Tess in Jack and Daxter, and it's supposed to be kind of a nod toward that. But hey, that's it for a couple of Easter eggs. There are a lot more in the future, but we won't see any for probably a while, I think.